be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Luna 2.0, what has happened over the past 24 hours, and where I predict the price to go in the near future, as well as some key price levels and price patterns that I'm looking out for. So if you like that kind of stuff, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel. So Luna 2.0, what has happened over the past 24 hours? So in my previous video, and I'm gonna to have to draw all of these again because trading view deleted my annotations, so I apologize about that but basically we had a triangle that i identified in my last video that kind of looked like this um and basically yesterday when i made the video we were about in this region here and we did see a breakout from this triangle to the upside which was good but it didn't reach its price target unlike luna classic so luna classic had a similar triangle and we saw luna classic reach its price target which was the distance between resistance and support but on luna 2.0 we fell short here so we can see that the price target as i said yesterday would have been around two dollars seventy we came up to a reasonable two dollar fifty nine two dollar sixty level which i did say was quite a major resistance level for luna 2.0 so i did take partial profits there when it did come up and unfortunately, we didn't reach our ultimate price target there. So we did come back down to test this resistance once again. You see how the price, if we extend the triangle a little bit, you can see how the price kind of respects this resistance as a support on the way down a little bit, but eventually just breaks through, which guys is a bearish sign because if I extend this support as well, this support here on this triangle has been respected, you know, since this pump happened. So this is what kept Luna 2.0 in the fairly bullish direction. You know, we were going like in a slow uphill direction because it was respecting that support, but now we have broken down below it. And of course that was within the past hour or two as well. So that's not a very good sign there at all. And what's concerning for me as well is how last time Luna 2.0 did this, we did see a massive price drop. And I'll talk about that in a sec. Just before I talk about why I'm super concerned, I'll just give you the price target to what I think will happen in the near future. So, you know, we could be seeing a triangle. Again, this could be this could be a triangle that isn't respected. But if it is, then we should see an immediate price target really over the next few hours. And the price target for that would be around $2.22, $2.23, which is a major price level on Luna 2.0. And of course, I do mention this in all my videos. But if you don't know, it is major because it was the bottom of this dump here that we had on the 14th of September and if we just trace back time as well it was a major resistance for Luna 2.0 back in August back in July and June as well so $2.20 to $2.23 it's a very major level and that that is why this price target could make sense uh, from this triangle here so if we are indeed seeing this then we could see that as our price target but that's not the worst thing in that is not the worst thing because what I do think we could be seeing is a repeat of history. So just have a look at Luna 2.0 and what happened here um, when the price started going down here. We'll see here that we were following this kind of trend here. You see this was our resistance here in this region and we had a support that looks like this. So we can actually kind of connect this bottom down here to the support that looks like this. And of course, if we just zoom into that, you see that once we broke below the support level, we saw this massive downhill movement. We came back up a little bit. We respected this resistance. Oops. We respected this resistance here uh, further down as well. So you can see that the price really tried to break through that on the way down, couldn't break through it. And then we started descending steeper all the way down to basically $2 before this pump here. And what I see now is eerily similar to what we saw over there as well. We can literally connect this on the short term, this peak here. We can draw a line that looks like this. And we have this support here. So, so basically we've just fallen through the support. We've seen this massive long candle with the long wick there. And if we have a look at last time as well, that's exactly what we saw here as well. We saw a little relief pump. So we could see the price do this, for example, but then after it touches the resistance, if we're unable to break through that resistance and the price and the last time kind of did something like this. And that's what could happen as well if history is repeating itself. Of course, if we can break through the resistance, that's good, but it really does look like we are seeing a repeat of what's happening over here. So we saw a major support broken down with quite a large downhill momentum. We saw a relief rally that we're starting to see now. Obviously, it's not confirmed or anything like that, but it looks like we could be seeing this small relief pump that we had here that lasted a few hours. A couple of tests of this resistance here. So this resistance would be fairly key. And once that failed, then we saw the price tank down to the $2 level. So this for me is quite concerning for Luna 2.0. And so with this in mind, I do have a price target, an initial take profit level at $2.22 for the price going down on Luna 2.0 and the final one towards the $2 level. And obviously I'm just looking at what's happened in the past year, but it's not all bad news because like, 
like with every other altcoin, it's going to be affected by what Bitcoin does. And what Bitcoin does is looking pretty exciting at the moment. And I'll show you why. So if we have a look here on Bitcoin, I do talk about Bitcoin recently on my videos because, you know, it's just very correlated with what altcoins do as well. So if Bitcoin makes a major move, then chances are altcoins will as well. So looking at Bitcoin, for example, we are so close to this resistance here. And this is a long term resistance where the price has never crossed it. And if we zoom out back onto the day chart here, you can see it's been in play since November 2021 and the price has never been able to cross it. Most recently, Bitcoin did pump back to 20,200 or so right here, tested the resistance and came straight back down. So literally, if we follow a similar price level over the next few days, then we're going to encounter this resistance again by the 5th or 6th of October there. So basically, if Bitcoin is able to break through this resistance, then we should see that reflected in Luna 2.0 as well. If it really does break through that resistance, then, you know, Luna 2.0 could see a nice pump as well, just because Bitcoin's price action is bullish and likewise if we do see the price touches resistance once again and then come back down like this instead of going up like this then of course we could see that in luna 2.0 as well and we could see some new lows here for for the coins in september so basically i'm looking at what bitcoin is doing of course at the moment i'm looking to see what happens here with this resistance can we flip this resistance the quicker we can do that the more bullish we can be in the future but unless but if we can't flip that resistance, then I'm really looking at previous history of Luna 2.0 to kind of gauge what's going to happen next. And at the moment, it doesn't look pretty just because of what's happened here and the similarities that I'm seeing in this scenario here and this scenario here. In fact, if I just make that even clearer for you guys, if I just get rid of that, you can see to me that's a very clear similarity there. So for all the bullish people, for all the longs out there, I hope I am wrong, but this is what I'm seeing at the moment. Um, for the shorts, my initial take profit level would be around $2.22, just because of that triangle I showed you that I think could be in play. And finally, I think a level of $2 would be an ultimate take profit level. Um, and obviously that's subject to this resistance not being broken. If this is broken and acts as a support, for example, then I don't think $2 will be reached anytime soon. So I will not be using that as a take profit uh, as my final target. Um, but if we can't break through this resistance here, this one here, then I do think that's mega, mega bearish. And we could see, you know, $2 by the end of today or by the end of tomorrow. So just my price prediction, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you are bullish or bearish on Luna 2.0. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.